Many of you have probably already seen my Sputnik video in which I produced three mid-century Googie style lights for a drive-in movie theater. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create and reproduce the three dozen antennas that make up the lights. Now I'm going to be starting with this maple turning blank, and this is the first time I have ever turned wood, so I'm going to be doing it wrong. Don't follow my example. I think this bit is dull. Okay, I'm going to stop here real quick and try to explain as fast as I can what's going on because a lot of this is going to seem redundant. I'm boring out the center of this, clearly. In order to get as far as I need to, I need a really long bit like this. However, this is so long, it's hard to ensure that it's going to start straight, so I'm getting as far as I can with this spade bit in order to create a guide hole. Now, I've done this once already, and what I discovered was this little part right here, which is threaded like a screw, would dig in, get to this point, and jam. This chuck is just a friction fit, which is fine for most operations, but this would jam to the point that this would start spinning. So what I had to do in order to keep it from jamming is grind off that bit. However, at this point, this has trouble actually digging out the very center of the hole now. So what I've got to do is take this, which I had left over from some previous project, drill out the very center of the hole, and then go back and open it up with this. God, that's loud. Okay, I've tried this several times now with slightly different techniques, but no matter what, there is just too much friction here. I'm working this chuck too hard. It's gonna slip. So, it's off to the hardware store. This would be great, but they don't have it in a three quarters. I could use this with the spade bit, but I'm afraid that would wobble at that point. This would probably be perfect, but I'd run into the same problem I had before. This is twice as long as I need, but that may do it. And I'll get this too, just in case. And I will need this for later. Oh, look at that. Right in there.
elegant, but it worked. Now it's time to make a mold of this thing. Now molding materials are expensive, so we're going to have to figure out exactly how much we need so we don't waste any. If you don't like geometry or math, you're probably just going to want to skip this part. So I'm going to be molding the antenna upside down like this, and I want about a half an inch below it. Plus, it's an eight inch antenna, plus I want to go about a half an inch above where the bottom of the, the antenna is going to be. So that gives us a total mold height of nine inches. And I'm going to be using a 3 inch inner diameter PVC pipe as the shovel for the mold. So first we need to figure out the volume of the cylinder. And the volume of the cylinder is easy enough. That's the radius squared times pi times the height, which is 63.62 cubic inches. Now we need to subtract the volume of the antenna, which is a little more complicated. So I want to know the volume of a cone, but not just a cone, a truncated cone. And that, by the way, is called a frustum. I had to look that up. I'm actually not smart enough to know that. Which is also why I need an app to figure out the volume of the frustum, which is 22.98 cubic inches. But we don't need to include the bore through the middle, so we have to subtract that. And that's another cylinder, which is 3.76 cubic inches. So we subtract the bore from the frustum, which gives us a total antenna volume of 19.22 cubic inches. That's the amount of silicone we need to subtract from the total mold, which is 44.4 cubic inches. But we're dealing with liquid here, so another app to convert the volume. 44.4 cubic inches gives us 24.6 fluid ounces. We'll call it 25. So once I pour the mold and pull out the master, we're going to end up with a column of silicone sticking up through the middle. Being silicone, that's not going to be very rigid. So I made this earlier, and this is going to stick up through the middle and become part of the mold. The ridges are so the silicone doesn't stretch and slide up it while I'm pulling out the casts. Everything gets a coat of mold release. Even my scissors, apparently. Now we take 12 and a half ounces of part one. 12 and a half ounces of part two. And stir. Ah, oh, crap. That's right. Wood floats. It's all right. We can fix this. Oh, but now we're going to spill. Damn you, Archimedes. Nice. Ah, oh, this is stupid. I suppose I could take this out. This is ridiculous. I've screwed up a mold before, but uh, this is the first time I've screwed it up this badly. And pour some back in to the correct level. Well, I just made a colossal mess. <sighs> and when I chose the three inch pipe for this, I knew it was going to be a little narrow, but the next size up was a four and that left a lot more room around the antenna than you might imagine, which would have been a lot of wasted material. A three and a half would have been perfect, but doesn't exist, or at least they didn't have it. And now we just wait four hours. Now time to demold.
I'm going to go ahead and stop there and save you from everything that happened after that. Um, this was a complete failure. I cannot get the master out of this mold. Now the outside is fine. That's no problem at all. It's this core uh, that I cannot pull out. It is stuck. Um, and I know there are people out there who were watching this uh, saying to themselves, that's never going to work. He's never going to get that out of there. And you were right. I was attempting the same technique that I've actually used before with this mold for this antenna. Uh, it was for a, uh, a, a Sputnik that I've made before, very similar. Ow! Right in my eye. Oh my god. What was I saying? Um, I made numerous casts with this one uh, that slipped out of here just fine, but apparently the extra height on this uh, just creates just that much extra friction that makes it impossible to get out, to get it out of here. Get, God. Apparently the extra couple of inches on this antenna creates just that much more more friction. Much more. So I'm gonna have to cut out this master and try this a different way. Uh, this is not a good day.